Hi, everybody. Unfortunately, I'm not a techie kind of guy, and I don't know how to do little movie magic or, you know, edit things. But this is the first episode of Chris Chat. Chris Chat. And tonight's episode is called It's Not a Sty, It's Blepharitis. So, we'll get to all that later on. But first, I want to talk to you about a few things. Because it's Chris Chat, so I'm going to chat about things that Chris chats about. Sometimes complains about, but usually just chats about. Um, oh, maybe you want to say hi to Johnny first. We'll get that out of the way. Hi, Johnny. You see him? Hi. Get up here. Come on. I want to say hi. Come here. Oh, you can. Get over here. Get over here. Okay. He's just going to sit there. All right. So, I mean, after all, it's not Chris and Johnny chat, is it? First thing I want to talk about is the Super Bowl. Now, congrats to everybody. I'm not even going to say the name. You know who? Omaha, whatever, but I will not be watching the Super Bowl. In fact, the Super Bowl is on the same day as my cruise leaves. It's not my cruise, but the cruise I'm going on, the RSVP cruise. They're actually having a, a party um, on the ship, and they're going to show the Super Bowl, but I'm not going to. I was planning on wearing my Gronk shirt and bringing all kinds of things, and I had the a Patriots mug and everything. Now I'm not going to. I'm just going to go, probably go in the casino or who knows. I might jump overboard. But uh, this is the first cruise that I'm going on by myself. And uh, because my good buddy, my BFF, Joey Della Monica, doesn't want to go. Well, he's a big producer now. He's produced two movies now. Associate producer, but... Yeah, it's too big for that. He doesn't want to go. So I'm going by myself. That's fine. Um, oh, and the Oscar nominations. I'm, I'm boycotting the Oscars. And not for the reason you may think. Because they're white. The Oscars are white this year. I'm boycotting because Johnny Depp should have been nominated. And if you saw Black Mass, you would understand what I'm talking about. And if you did see Black Mass and you don't think he should be nominated then you just don't like Johnny Depp and um, but half the people that vote for the Oscars don't even see the movies they vote for what those foolish foreigners put up at the uh, Golden Globes so it's all crap it's all political it's just it's all bullshit just bullshit and uh, the other thing that I, I'm, not, I'm pissed about and nobody seems to, to get upset about is that they've moved the honorary Oscars off of the main broadcast to a, a dinner uh, three months earlier, untelevised. So that's why the last couple of years you didn't get to see Lauren Bacall get her honorary Oscar, Angela Lansbury, this year Debbie Reynolds, all these people. You know, years ago, when I was young, the big deal about watching the Oscars was to, to see the honorary Oscar. Barbara Stanwyck, um, William Holden, Charlie Chaplin, um, uh, a lot of people. And now they've moved these amazing legends, getting their due and their standing ovations, they've moved it off the show so that they can put crap on there like Ellen ordering pizza uh, or insulting Liza and uh, all these other people. You know, I'm sorry. I mean, I like Ellen. I like her show. I like when she gives people houses. But I don't like when she insulted um, Liza Minnelli and Kim Novak. I thought that was very disrespectful. And that whole pizza thing. And, and, and can we talk about Neil Patrick Harris last year with that little box and, and the key? and ugh, it's Horrible. So for all this crap that they put on and all these stupid montages and silly dance numbers, 
they move these living legends off of the show and onto a dinner that we don't get to see. Why is nobody upset about this but me? How come people in the media aren't standing up and saying something or writing something or whatever? So I'm not watching the Oscars. I'm not watching, if you're keeping track, I'm not watching the Super Bowl and I'm not watching the Oscars. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I told you about how I went to the movie theater last week. And there was this big, big man with his girlfriend. And a couple times they were making out and I thought I was going to puke. But worse was he was smoking one of those electronic cigarettes or the vapor things, whatever. So every five seconds I heard... This is what I heard. <laughs> So I thought he was just, you know, he was large. I thought he was just slurping on his soda and making a lot of noise. But no, it was like, it was like a bong or something. But it was, and it smelled like peppermint or something like that or cherries or something. But it was gross. And I saw all this smoke going up, you know, like with the, the movie light is going like that. And I see the smoke going up. I'm telling you, every five seconds. I was getting so furious. And I, and I moved at one point And then I just said, you know what? Because I didn't say anything to him or an usher because, who knows, they can shoot you if they get pissed off at you now. So you don't want to screw around with someone that's in the movie theater and you complain. So after the movie, I asked an usher and he says, well, he comes all the time and, you know, he, he brings his electronic cigarettes and... You know, and I said, well, what's all the slurping? It sounded like water. Well, that's the contraption that he uses. I, I actually do it myself, but I'm not sure if they can smoke here or not. But he, he comes there a lot, and he does. So, And I said, well, I'm sorry, but that ruined my whole movie. And the movie was Concussion, which was a good movie. A little long. I would have cut it by 20 minutes, but... And I, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't have not... I would not have nominated Will Smith. Um, he was good, but not that good and um, anytime someone does an accent you know that's not really their accent eh, it's I mean it's okay it's not great Meryl Streep she's the exception Meryl Streep um, so anyway I, I said whatever I laughed and, and and I came back the next day and I asked to speak to the manager and the manager told me absolutely not we do not allow those vapors or electronic cigarettes in here and and you, you should have told us. And I said, I didn't tell you because I didn't want to get shot. And he said, well, you can always come out and tell us. And then, you know, you can go back in the movie and we won't go and say anything for about 15 minutes. And then they won't know it was you. I said, there was five people in the theater. Of course he's going to know it was me because I was sitting behind him. So he gave me a free movie ticket, a pass for another movie. And... Um, and that's it. So I'm going to use that. And he said that if I ever see it again to let him know and that people can't use it. Those are obnoxious. And I'm sorry. And, and you know, people used to think they looked cool smoking cigarettes. Then they figured out that they didn't. You know, they, you know, they didn't, they don't look cool. And now I think they think they're looking cool s sucking on that, like all this happy vapor, smelly shit in the air. They think that's, it's not cool. It's gross. It's gross. You look stupid doing it. And, and you know what? And don't say anything about me eating, you know, because m me eating a Twinkie does not cause you secondhand smoke or whatever. And, and these vapor things have been proven to be harmful. So whatever. I'm not going to get into that. But that's what happens. I just wanted you to know because I told you. The Nyla Bone episode, that freaking Nyla Bone almost killed my dog. His stomach was so blocked. And um, he was very, very sick, the sickest he's ever been. So uh, Nyla Bone told me to send everything, the x-rays, everything like that. I'm also going to send a letter, uh, a, a small note from my friend who was a lawyer. And um, I'm going to send that at the end of the week. They told me it takes about six to eight weeks, but at least I'll get all my money back. Um, I'm pretty sure I will. It sounds it sound like, like I would. So that's it. Um, oh, one more thing about... I wanted to say before we go on to what the show is about, uh, which is, uh, it's not a sty, it's blepharitis. Um, I just want to talk about Bette Midler, uh, who I love. I love her. 
but oh, hello dolly Ugh. it's a snoozer i mean it's so old-fashioned and creaky and bleh. it's just like oh the jokes are just they're not funny they're it's so dated she should be doing mame mame's funny mame's catty and funny and and the songs are fun i mean i don't know Whatever, I'm just saying, it should be Mame, it shouldn't be Hello Dolly. And I wish they'd bring back uh, the unsinkable Molly Brown. Mame, the unsinkable Molly Brown. Oh, well, no, they're bringing back Cats. Cats, um, Fiddler on the Roof, I guess. Gypsy every five minutes. Bring Mame back. Put Dolly to rest. Goodbye, Dolly. That's it, write a new show, call it Goodbye, Dolly, and make it fun. Make the songs fun, Make 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 it funny oh that song in hello dolly about i've got ribbons down my back this summer it will if you don't have diabetes it will give you diabetes and it'll put you in a coma and i'm not kidding all right so what i want to talk to you about which is the name of this first episode of uh chris chat and it's it's not a sty it's blepharitis. You know, maybe someday I'll, I'll be able to have some nice, you know, you know, um, music and, you know, uh, graphics. But, uh, all right, so last night I went to, uh, out to dinner at La Bamba. And I was with my friends. One of my friends, who's not from this country, but now lives here. Um, he's very outspoken. You know, he sp speaks his mind, whatever. But, um, so we're all sitting there eating, you know, having a good time. And all of a sudden he says, Chris, why is your eye so red? Ugh. So I said, it just, it's, it is, it's, it's, you know, and he goes, why? And I said, because it is, it's, it's, it's called blepharitis. Blepho what? Ugh. Blepharitis. So... I said, it's a, it's a condition where your eyes get red because of the oils and blah, 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 blah. So, I don't know. He just didn't let up. And, and of course, it's embarrassing. Of course, then everybody looks at, 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 at the eyes. And Billy Masters said something like, oh, his, his eyes are always red. Have, have you ever seen him in the daylight? Or something like that. Anyway, whatever. And he also called me big guy like three times. So, yeah, whatever. Um... So it just, it reminded me of what, what happened last summer. And um, last summer, as you know, I managed the box office at the fabulous Art House Theater in Provincetown. And, you know, that box office, is it's my baby. That's where the magic happens. And um, everyone that comes to the, to the window is usually wonderful. And they get their tickets, and they see the shows, and they love it. But... Last summer, I had three different people that were so rude to me about my, my blepharitis. So the first lady was drunk, and she was with a friend. And she's, I don't know, she was like German or something. I don't know. She was just like really awful. And they were getting tickets to a show. And the friend didn't seem too drunk a guy but she just seemed you know like kind of out of it so she's sitting standing there and she's eating pizza and she's you know chewing with her mouth open and so I'm writing up their tickets and she says you got the sty in your eye I said I put the pen down and I said, no, I don't. And then I started to write again. She says, yes, you do. That's a sty. I said, no, it's not. My eyes are just red. And of course, I didn't want to get into the whole blepharitis thing. I said, my eyes are red. So I said, uh, what did I say? I said, are you okay to go into the show? Meaning, you know, are you drunk? And she just said, I'm fine. But that's a sty. And I said, 
listen, it's not a sty. And then she said, um, oh, then I said to her, you know, you can't eat that pizza in, in the show. You can't have food in the theater. You can have drinks, but not food. So I, so I, I had to say something to her. I was, she was pissing me off. So I said, you know, you can't eat that pizza in the theater. She says, I know that, you idiot. I was like the skipper on Gilligan's Island. So I said, idiot, huh? And I took, pulled the tickets back. And the, the guy that was with her goes, oh, please, 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 please let us go in. She's sorry. She's, she doesn't mean it. She's drunk. She doesn't mean it. I said, she means it. And, and, and she hasn't said she's sorry. And she's like, like that. Like, I'm not sorry. So he's like begging me, you know. I felt bad for him. So I said, fine. Just take the tickets and go. Go. Get away from my window. I never want to see that horrible woman again. I didn't say that, but that was in my head. So that was the first thing. That was the first person that was, was, that was so rude. So then a few days later, I'm waiting on this lady, clearly from New York City or the New York area, and I'm writing her tickets up, and she says, geez, that looks really painful. And I knew what she was talking about. I knew she was talking about my eye. Or my eyes. My eyelids. So I looked at her and I said, what? She says, your eye looks really painful. I said, well, it's not. It's not painful at all. So she could tell I was irritated. And she says, oh, okay. You know, I'm not... Not trying to start a fight with you. I'm just saying that looks painful. That's all. I'm not trying to start a fight. So I just ignored her. I thought, oh my God, why are you so rude? Geez, that looks painful. Why? So she goes off. And then about a week later, this old, scraggly, scruggly, bleh, Gross. He was like the, and he had a tank top on, and that made it even worse. And he comes up to the box office, and he doesn't even say what show he wants to to go to. He just says, "Your eyes red." Oh my God! I wanted to strangle him. I wanted to take him by his little scraggly, scriggly neck and just strangle him. And then I said, "How can I help you?" And went on from there but but it's so rude so I just want everyone to know that and I've had this this redness in my eyes this blepharitis I've had it for like over 20 years my eye doctor has it it's very very common so if you ever see me out or at a show or if you see me on a talk show riding a bicycle you saw me on Letterman, I'm sure. And you see that my eyes are red. Or my eyelids, I mean. Don't say anything. Just just don't say anything. It's like, would you go up to someone and say, Oh, that, that big mole on your nose is, is, you know, ugh. Where'd you get that? You know? Or why don't you get rid of that? It's, just, it's the same thing. Don't go up and say to somebody... It's also like when you when you when someone says to you and they don't even know you and they say, "You look really tired." What do you say? I say thank you, thanks. So, again, if you see me out with eyelids that are red, don't say anything because it's blepharitis. It's not a sty. It's not a sty. It's blepharitis. Now, I have the um, definition of blepharitis. And I'm going to show it to you so you all know. Okay? Alright. Let me put this up here. Oops. Let's see. Blepharitis. Okay. Alright? So blepharitis is a common and ongoing condition 
where the eyelids become inflamed, swollen, with oily particles and bacteria coating the eyelid margin near the uh, base. Okay, so that's a typo. Sorry. Um, the base of the eyelashes. This annoying condition causes irritation, itchiness, redness, and stinging or burning of the eyes. I would also add this annoying condition uh, causes annoying people to say annoying things. So that's it. So that is our first uh, episode of Chris Chat. And uh, we never have to talk about the blepharitis again. That's why we talked about it in this first episode and we're never going to talk about it again. And that's that. So I'll see you all soon. Have a great day, my friends. Bye-bye.